Hello, good morning to every one of you. How are you doing? I hope you're good. Yeah, good to have you this morning. Um, <laughs> I want to actually ask you um, a question. There's this um, um, three different stories I'm going to tell you now. And you tell me your opinion. I mean, among these three, the, the three people that will appear in the in the stories, I want you to tell me who is the um, craziest. Because I don't want to say it's funny. Who is the craziest? Now, let me come with the first one. There was a bazaar, a harvest bazaar in a par in a parish, and um, a man came there and purchased a motorcycle on credit. You know Bazaar now, come and say these days and you, you, you purchase. So they clapped for him, clapped for him, and he took the bike away. Then um, one month later, the parish priest of that parish called him. He said, I am presently riding the bike using it to carry passengers and I'm saving the money. When the money is complete, I'll come and redeem my pledge. Just imagine. <laughs> the second person is, there's a parish where the priest, they're they still building. So one man walked into the parish on a Sunday and the, the priest was trying to do project Sunday. So as to build, so as to continue the building. The man came out, collected the microphone, and said, I'm going to give you 10 pillars. You know pillar now. I'm going to give you 10 pillars. They clapped for him, clapped for him, clapped for him. <laughs> One month later, the, the, the council in charge of that project called him. He said, no, the parish priest should call him. After two months, the parish priest called him. He told the parish priest, Oh, Kwane Chuku Kanko Renkwa. Oh, Chuku Kanko Renkwa. Like, it is, I made this promise to God. I made this pledge to God. Are you serious? So that means the priest should not even call him. God should call him. Like, I made the pledge to God, so you people should stop disturbing me. Until today, as I'm speaking to you, he has not redeemed that pledge. <laughs> this are happening. Then the third person. <laughs> He's so funny. <laughs> so funny. Then the third person at the bazaar too. They were trying. They were trying. You know, in the, in the bazaar, they bring out items for sale, especially in Lagos, and people will be prizing it. So they were dragging prizes. It, it, it got to thirty-five thousand. This was the thirty-six, thirty-seven. 38, 30, one man came out and said, 100,000. And there was no longer challenges. Challengers. So, 100,000 going, going, gone. They gave him, they gave him the, they gave him the, the, the goods. A lot of goods. In fact, so lot of goods. The fruits, the vegetables, a lot of things they put together to sell at once. This man carried all of them. And he said 100,000. And they gave him. They wrote his name. Wrote everything. Gave him account number. He didn't comply. Later on, they visited the man to find out what's up. Why have you complied? The man was living in one room. He's living in one room apartment. He doesn't have such money. In fact, when they got to his house, he told them, I'm still owing my landlord. Those things I carried that day in the church was what we ate for two weeks. I'm still owing my landlord. If there's a way you can help me talk to the parish priest to help me pay my rent. Are you serious? I, I, I don't know how to categorize this set of people. Are they scammers? Are they criminals? Are they, what are they? If you can help me, if you can help me categorize them, I'll be very happy. From me to you, Reverend Sister Lilian Morsco, 
do have a nice day okay before i end the video i just want to tell you before you make pledges make sure you have it once you pledge you become a debtor you have to pay do not make any promise if you don't have it thank you ciao